When you have a solar panel at home, you may at one time dream of powering the panel during the night time, especially when during the day there was, was no enough sunlight due to weather conditions such as a, lo a lot of clouds or rainfall, or maybe it's during the winter or rain season with little sun hours. So, today in this video, we're gonna attempt to power a solar panel without sunlight using a combination of candles, burning some papers, using LED lights, and finally using incandescent bulb to power some small electronics device. So, let's see what will happen. This is a 40 watts solar panel producing an open circuit voltage of about 22 volts and short circuit current of about 2.2 amperes when exposed on a bright sunlight. But here we are, it's night time and there is no sunlight. But we're gonna try to lit up some candles and put our solar panel to as close to the candlelight as possible without destroying the panel mirror with the heat from the candle. Then let's try to connect the output of the panel to the multimeter to check how much voltage it, it generates. And as you can see at the multimeter we are getting around 10 up to 12 volts with two candles. So let's try to connect the output of our solar panel to some small electronic device. So here we have got a brushless DC motor 12 volt. Also here we have got LED lights 12 volts using solar panel. So let's try to connect it to the output of the solar panel. And as you can see, it generates some light. Some light. But the brightness not very it's, it's not very bright but it still produces some lights. Let's try to connect it to the output of home. Let's try to connect it to this fan here. And as you can see the fan does not rotate. Yeah, the fan does not rotate even if you try to push it to give it some energy. But the LED light was able to light up. So let's move on to the next stage. So with candles, we have already said, but it's not very bad result because we have already proven that. The solar panel can work without sunlight. We have tried to use the candles and it seems to work a little bit. The second attempt, we are going to use LED light to try to power solar panel. So we put the LED close to the solar panel and as you can see, we are getting about 4 to 6 volts, which is less than the one that we get from the candles and the burning of papers. So I'm not sure that if I will be able to power anything of this current. So let's keep this trial and move on to the incandescent light. The incandescent light uses much more power and it produces more lumens compared to LED or fluorescent light. And this indicates that you are now getting a light with a high frequency and short wavelengths compared to the previous time. And at least the brightness we get from this 200 incandescent light roughly approaches or make me mix the sunlight. Then again, I tried to connect it to the 12 volt car phone charger to see if I'll be able to charge this small phone. So here is a small is a car phone charger, and I connect the output of the panel to it to see if it can charge my phone. And as you can see, the phone is charging. So now we are getting enough current to even charge a small phone here. 
connect the output of the panel to the 12 volt car phone charger and that is what we saw and then again we try to connect the output of the panel to the to this small brushless DC motor to see if it can rotate and as you can see as you move the light close to the panel the motor starts to rotate you can you see it close the motor is spinning very fast but because the camera cannot capture all of that that's why you cannot see it but let's try to move the pan the the light close to the panel and the further away so that you can see the difference so as they move the incandescent light close to the panel the motor seems to rotate much more faster and when i try to pull it away from the panel the motor seems to rotate much more slower so let's enjoy it Then now I was confident enough and I connected the output of the panel to this LED light and it seemed to light up with no any problem because you are not getting much more current. But you cannot see the full brightness because the camera tried to reduce the, the, the light. That's why you cannot see, but it's very bright here in the room right now. So yes, we have proven that solar panel can produce electricity without need of sunlight. But the only problem here is that we have to use electricity to produce enough light to power solar panel. So that the panel can produce enough power to run even small devices. And this is the wastage of energy. Just imagine you have to use a 200 incandescent light to power a 40 watt solar panel. And still, the power produced from the solar panel was not enough to do a lot of useful work. As we could just remove the solar panel and use the electricity from the grid to power our electronics. Also, the idea of burning candles and papers still produces a lot of smokes, which again removes the advantage of having a clean power from the solar panel and make no difference with the coal power plants. So, not a very bad idea, but at least you have learned something. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to charge a solar battery without a solar panel. Using a combination of transformers that you get from the old inverters, bunch of diodes, capacitors. So, make sure that you subscribe. You don't miss that video. I will put a link in the description once I release it. See you next time.